Hey Aquarius, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. It's been a minute. It's been a minute, but I got a reading for you today. So buckle up and let's see what the heck is going down, Aquarius. I have taken the entire month of December off. Um, I do hope that everybody enjoyed the holidays. Um, I have completed publishing Tarot School. Yay, me! So anybody out there who is interested in learning how to read the tarot the way that I read the tarot, um, or even if you're just interested in understanding more about what's happening in the tarot card readings that you're watching, um, go check out Tarot School. There's a link in the box below. DeepThoughtsWithDana.com is the website. This is a general reading for the collective of Aquarius. There is no way. It is absolutely impossible that this is your personal reading. You may see yourself in this reading. This may be a string that's happening in your life, but the only way to know your true story is to have your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com if you'd like me to read your cards. Um, I like a particular reader on YouTube. Her name is Miriam Kramer at Point Your Compass. If you would like to have your cards read, she is a really good option if for some reason you don't want to come to me. So Aquarius, let's jump into this and see what's going on here. So we open up here with the King of Pentacles. And I want to say that I think this reading is about a significant person in your life making a decision that you don't agree with. I think that's the overlying theme of this reading. We have the Seven of Wands in reverse in the center of your reading, clarified by the Two of Wands. This talks to me about you being overwhelmed about planning for your future. So let's unpack this and see what this all means, okay? So we start out with the King of Pentacles, right? This is, I don't think this is Aquarius. I think this is some kind of significant person in your life, okay? Some kind of maybe an authority figure, a parent, um, something, some kind of significant figure in your life, okay? Right out the box, some kind of significant figure. The Hermit in Reverse. This is isolation, loneliness, withdrawal. To the Three of Pentacles, a lack of teamwork and collaboration. To the Ten of Pentacles, when it comes to building the future, okay? So the King of Pentacles. Let's just unpack this, okay? We're going to go back and make sure that we understand all of these. I don't even understand it yet. So let's unpack it and talk about it. So this King of Pentacles figure in your life is making you feel isolated, making you feel isolated, making you feel like there's a lack of teamwork and collaboration when it comes to um, the foundation of your life. So there's something about this King of Pentacles that's making you feel insecure about your future. The Prince of Swords in reverse comes in and talks about a disregard for consequences, okay? Disregard for consequences to the Ten of Swords. Disregard for consequences. You see this as, as this decision that this King of Pentacles figure is making, you see this as, as an, an, an inevitable ending. <coughs> Sorry, Aquarius. You see this as an inevitable ending. You think that they're making a decision with a disregard for consequences that is not going to turn out well. Three of Swords in reverse. You try to understand. Um, you try to um, engage um, you try to have optimism for the situation. With the Page of Cups in reverse says you just don't want anything to do with it. You don't want anything to do with it. And the Seven of Swords in reverse tells me that you are detaching yourself from the mental turmoil that is associated with this person's decision-making process, okay? Okay. The fool in reverse comes in and says that you think it's a foolish and reckless decision. A foolish and reckless decision. 
So we have a King of Pentacles character over here that is making you feel um, isolated and withdrawn when it comes to the teamwork and collaboration that you need in order to secure your material um in order to have material security in your life okay you feel like this decision is not well thought through you think there's a disregard for consequences you think it's foolish and reckless with the fool in reverse right this is um, going to end in a bad way you're trying to be optimistic right and supportive but the truth of the matter is you don't want anything to do with this decision and you are um, breaking free from the mental turmoil associated with this person's decision-making process. The Empress comes in, talks about possibly a mother. Like I said, it's some kind of significant relationship in your life. Um, I can't help but to say your mom, maybe, right? This is the Empress right? Um, your mom. To the three of cups in reverse, a third party situation. So it seems to me that this empress is the same significant person as this king of pentacles, okay? This empress, who is the same person as this king of pentacles, has a lot of input or control over the security, the control, the power of your life and of your surroundings and your material security. The Three of Cups in reverse talks to me about a third party situation, which tells me that the decision that's being made has to do with someone else. So this person is making a decision that affects your material security based on a third party energy. Hierophant in reverse comes in and this is Aquarius. This is Aquarius. Um, This is Aquarius reevaluating their belief system, reevaluating what it is that they believe about the situation. To the Two of Pentacles in reverse, this is an imbalance, okay? An imbalance. So you see, the Hierophant upright would represent family and structure. The Hierophant in reverse is you going, whatever whatever, whatever, right? And the two of pentacles in reverse represents disorganization and an imbalance. This is you coming to terms with the fact that what will be, will be. And again, with the Hierophant in reverse, you don't want anything to do with it. And you see it as disorganization and an imbalance. You see it as a bad decision. You see it as a bad decision. And it involves a third party. Perhaps it's other family members. Perhaps it's a spouse, a step-parent. There's something about family here, though. There's definitely something about family going on here. Princess of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. So there is communication that comes into you about, again, the Ten of Pentacles, about the foundation, the structure of your environment, the security of your environment. There's some kind of information or communication that comes into you that affects your stability and foundation. The Knight of Swords. This is return to communication, okay? So a little bit of communication comes into you. A lot of communication comes out of you, okay? This is you, I do believe, speaking your piece right here about this situation. Um, <laughs> in Aquarius, 
<coughs> excuse me, Aquarius um, is not one to keep quiet. <laughs> Aquarius is not one to keep quiet about how they feel about something or what they think about something. So this is communication coming into you. This is your return communication, and it all has to do with the foundation, the structure of your environment. The chariot, this communication that you're returning is basically saying, go ahead and roll on out. Go ahead and roll on out. Do what you need to do because I'm going to do what I need to do in this situation to the queen of wands. I'm going to do what I need to do in this situation and I'm going to succeed and achieve with or without you right? So if you want to pull the foundation out from underneath me, by all means do, but I am going to succeed and achieve without you. I'll be just fine. I'll be just fine. But really, in the center of your reading, the seven of wands in reverse, this is being overwhelmed, overwhelmed to the two of wands about your future. So even though your posturing is the queen of wands and you're saying, whatever, peace out, bro, peace out, whatever this is that's happening, really deep down inside in your subconscious mind, you're afraid of what the future holds when this situation changes. The queen of pentacles, this represents your security. This represents home, family, mom. Um, it represents being grounded. Home. It represents home, okay? This reading is about something that is happening in your home that affects your structure and your stability. Temperance in reverse. This is a card. This is a card... This is card about needing a realignment, okay? A realignment. You are being forced to realign your home environment. You're being forced to realign your home environment. And then justice in reverse comes in and says that this is an injustice. You feel that this is a grievous injustice. This whole situation, remember the fool in reverse, right? Foolish, reckless. This is a grievous injustice. And you don't feel that it's fair. You're going to be just fine, but you don't feel that it's fair. Your feelings are hurt. And this Queen of Pentacles is right underneath this Empress here. It's definitely about family and home. Um, but you feel very hurt that, that things are changing. You feel very hurt. But look, you come to terms with it, with the Nine of Cups, okay? Come to terms with it. This is wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Perhaps this is something that secretly deep down inside, your happy is happening, but on the surface, it stings, right? On the surface, it stings. And as you process it, deep down inside, you're glad it's happening, but there are extenuating circumstances revolving around this. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, Aquarius. I don't know why I keep coughing on you. You won't catch it, though. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not sick. I don't know why I'm coughing. So, Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. This tells me that deep down inside, this is something that you are actually really okay with happening. You just don't like the way it's happening, okay? You don't like the way it's shaken down, but you really are okay with it in the end. High Priestess, because you've come to terms, right? Your soul searching, subconscious mind, your intuition, right? You know that this is for the best. This is for the best for you. Knight of Wands, inspired action, right? Inspired action, 
to the eight of wands to change the situation. Inspired action is changing your situation. This could possibly be even you communicating Aquarius that you're okay with the situation now. Okay. But nevertheless, this inspired action is movement, action, and swift change in your life to the wheel, a turning point in your destiny, in this situation, in your life. And you co you're coming to terms with this after being a little butthurt about how it all went down now you see it as something that is actually going to benefit your life instead of um, disrupting your life. Five of Swords in reverse. This is a lot of resentment to the Five of Wands that creates a lot of conflict within you. A lot of resentment that creates a lot of conflict. And the Prince of Cups in reverse says that it's not a realistic situation to maintain okay it's not a lot it's not a realistic situation to maintain to the seven of swords because there is just something that you don't like that you don't trust i don't want to say betrayal and deception because i don't feel betrayal and deception in this reading but there is something Perhaps this is just you saying, see ya, see ya later, see ya. We'll clarify this, okay? So betrayal and deception. So what do we have here? We have Aquarius. Look. Okay, so this is Five of Swords in reverse. This is going to be about you being open to change, okay? It's about past resentment because at the beginning of this reading, you were not real happy about it, but now you're okay with it, right? So this is past resentment, but now open to change. Past resentment, open to change because of the conflict, right? This is, this is conflict, You don't want the conflict. You don't want the conflict. You would rather just be open to change and have a positive perspective about all of this than to, than to, than to focus on the conflict. Prince of Cups in reverse. This is unrealistic, right? Unrealistic to the Seven of Swords. Unrealistic and like it said up here, right? Foolish and reckless. Going to come to, to, an absolute end, but there's nothing that you can do about it and you don't want to have anything to do with it. And these cards down here just reiterate the negativity of the situation, right? There's past resentment, but you're open to change now. There's, there's conflict, conflict because you feel the situation is unrealistic. And the seven of swords, I think is saying that you feel like somebody's going to get screwed. Okay. You feel like this person this significant person in your life is making a bad decision and they're going to get screwed over. That's what you think. But you're like, hands off. You're like, mm, not my monkeys, right? Not my circus, not my monkeys. I'm just, I don't want anything to do with this, right? Right? Because all four of these cards are clarified by death. An ending, a change, a transformation of the situation to the King of Cups that you're just perfectly emotionally okay with. You are good with it. You're good with this ending and change and you have resolved in your emotions that this is actually the best thing that could happen for you. Strength, right? Being strong, being strong, not needing strength, having strength. You are strong enough to to handle whatever this situation is. You absolutely are. Tower in reverse, averting disaster to the magician, manifesting to the six of cups. <sighs> Unrealistic, right? Unrealistic. What this is saying to me, tower in reverse, is that now that you see this whole situation as a positive, as a positive spin for you, 
you now feel like you're averting disaster, right? You're like, ah, no, 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 no. I, I am, I'm glad this is happening. This is a good thing that's happening. This card is also about personal transformation, which tells me that you have had a transformation about the way that you feel about the situation. To the magician, just full on, ready to manifest, ready, ready to manifest, ready to create, ready to handle. Um, and create something good out of nothing. To the Six of Cups in reverse. This is stuck in the past. This is unrealistic. Because it's unrealistic for you to be stuck in the past. The past being the situation that is changing that at first you were all disgruntled about. But now you see it as a positive thing for you for you and your life. You still don't think it's a good idea for this person to do it, but you see it as a positive for your life now because it's unrealistic to be stuck in the past, ready to let go and move forward. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Any more effort put into this situation is just simply an overinvestment of your time. It's just an overinvestment of your time. Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. Um, let it happen. Just let it happen. Let it happen. If this person in this reading, not you, if the other person in this reading wants to give and receive someplace else, by all means, have at it. The tower. This is your awakening, right? This, this, this person's decision creates sudden change and upheaval in your life. But you're also awakening to the fact that this is indeed good for you. It is indeed good for you. Five of Wands, all the conflict, right? All the conflict to the Six of Wands is being turned into victory, progress, and success as you begin to, to have the revelation that this is actually the best thing that could have possibly happened to you in this situation. Even though in the beginning you were disgruntled, now, now you're happy. Look, the King of Cups, you are in a state of emotional peace. Emotional control, emotional security, and emotional peace. And you wish everybody nothing but the best in this situation. Even though the opportunity that you have with the structure and the stability of your life in the situation you're in now, as it changes, right? you're okay with the lost opportunity because you believe that this lost opportunity is now in your best interest. The devil in reverse, right? Releasing your limiting beliefs. You, what's your limiting belief? An attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. Once you get over the initial anger, the initial disgruntal, being the, the, the initial, the initial, Knee-jerk reaction of being disgruntled when this decision is presented to you, right? This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. And now you're seeing it not so much as a lost opportunity with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, but an opportunity to release limiting beliefs that, that this situation um, was in your best interest. Nine of Wands, right? This is about being strong. This is a card about the capacity to endure, right? And you're and you're like, you know what? Psst, psst, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Six of Swords in reverse. This is uh, this is about um, water under the bridge, right? Baggage water under the bridge. It's, it's, I, I'm not, I'm not going to carry around the baggage of, of my resentment about this situation anymore to the devil because it's toxic for me. It's toxic and I'm just not going to carry around anger about it. I'm going to accept it and I'm actually going to use it as a catalyst to, um, to better my life. The Prince of Pentacles, as I look into the future, as I make a plan for the way that I want my future to look, 
I understand that this whole transition thing that's happening here is in my best interest. It truly is in my best interest to the three of cups. And it brings celebration. It brings celebration, friendship, community, right? This is a card saying, I am okay with this. Not only am I okay with this, but... um even though I may think you're foolish and reckless for doing what you're doing, I wish you all the best. I have no ill will. And um, let's keep in touch and, and remain friends or family. And the Five of Pentacles left out in the cold. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Uh, that's funny, Aquarius. So in the three of cups, you're like, you know, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. And then the five of pentacles comes in and says, see ya. <laughs> you thought you were leaving me out in the cold, but what's really happening here is I'm leaving you out in the cold. Do you need some help packing? Can I help you pack? Do you need help on moving day? Because I'll be glad to help you. <laughs> That's so funny. I love Aquarius. Y'all are just so blunt and straight up. So yeah, that's what's happening here. Is there some kind of significant shift or change in your home or your the realm of your security, right? And at first, y'all freaked out about it. All freaked out about it. Maybe even a little uh, jealous with the three of cups in reverse. Um, feeling feeling left out in the cold, right? But as the story progresses, you come to terms with the fact that, in fact, this is the best thing that could have happened to you. It really is. And if you're not to this point yet, know that this is the best thing that could have happened to you. It really is. Um, and you come to terms with it and you come out in the end actually happy that this is happening and willing to help them pack and move. <laughs> That's funny, Aquarius. All right, where are we at? We're at 26 minutes. I think we can squeeze an oracle card in here. Let's see. Spirit, what is it? This is the numerology oracle. What is it? Oh, look, 88, abundance. Beautiful, right out the box. 88, abundance. Whoa. Let's see what all this is about. 88. That's a good number. Eights. Maybe. There we go. 88. Abundance. This card. This card indicates a need to adopt an attitude of abundance in order to attract it into your life. By drawing this card, you're being encouraged to recognize the numerous opportunities in front of you, for the universe is bountiful and there is plenty to go around. Since you attract what you believe, you must improve your perception of the world. Replace your thoughts of scarcity, competition, and shortage with feelings of abundance, prosperity, and hope. The universe has an infinite supply of love, health, wealth, and wisdom. Therefore, a greedy, competitive mindset only prevents abundance from flowing. At this time, you must recognize and address any limiting beliefs that are blocking this flow. Perhaps you were brought up to believe that money doesn't grow on trees. Or maybe you aren't convinced you deserve to be happy, successful, or prosperous. When you change your perception, you change the circumstances in your life. In order to improve your current situation, you are encouraged to adopt an attitude of abundance. Share what you can with others because there's enough for everyone. Be grateful for what you already have and know that there is plenty more to come. When you believe that the universe is abundant, you can make your dreams come true. That's perfect. That's a perfect ending to this reading, right? Because you feel like abundance was being taken from you in the beginning. But as we ended this reading, you're like, I am so cool with this. I am so cool with this. This is a good thing. Sayonara. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, there you go. There is your reading, deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you'd like a personal reading with me or if you want to check out Tarot School to learn how to read the tarot. Namaste.